How to do a keyword search. If you've been given a topic to research or an essay title and you don't know what books there are in the library which would be of help to you, then do a keyword search. Type in climate change. Click on go. You get a list of all the books in the library that have climate change either in their title, chapter heading or subject heading. In this case we're going to look at the second book on the list. You will see the title of the book along with the author or editor. It also tells you what year it was published. Each copy the library owns is listed. The information you need to find that book in the library is here. Location, which library it's in, Bull, Brookfield or CUH Library. If it's in the Bull Library, then it also states the floor that it is shelved on. Status. If there is a date listed, that means that particular copy is out in loan and due back on that date. If it says check shelf, it means that it's not out in loan to anyone and you should go to the shelf to look for it. The call number in the middle is the most important information that you require to find that book on the shelf. It's address, if you like. The books in the library are arranged using the Dewey Decimal Classification System, which aims to place books on the same subject near each other on the shelf. As well as the Dewey number, we include the first four letters of the author's surname, so that once we find the books with the correct number, we can then follow the alphabetical sequence to discover our book. The title search. If you have the exact title of the book you need, you should use the title search option from the drop down menu. Type the title into the search box Essential Mathematics for Economics and Business. Click on Go. Note that there are two entries for the same book listed. One is a newer edition than the other. Looking at the newest edition, we see that it lists the first three copies of that book. But it says there are additional copies, volumes of this item. To see the full details, click into the title. Now we see that there are in fact seven copies of this book. The top two have a location of open reserve. That's the room that houses the high demand books near the books return unit on the ground floor. They are available for four hours at a time and can be read only in the library. You'll see that some of the call numbers have U in front of them. This prefix is to indicate that this copy is an undergraduate textbook and is available for a one week loan only. You cannot renew your loan on this book. There are other prefixes in use in the library catalogue. The most common are F for folio or oversized books which need to be shelved separately on the floor and N which stands for non-book items such as DVDs, videos, audio recordings etc. Using the author search. Sometimes you'll be looking for works written by a certain author. For example, John Banville. The important thing to remember about doing an author search is that you must type in the surname first. Type Banville John and choose author from the drop down menu. Click on Go. These symbols on the left indicate whether it's a book or something like a film. Using the subject search. The subject search option can be useful when you want to explore a broad topic and find out what's available in the library. For example, type in radicalism and choose subject search from the drop down menu. The catalogue gives you a list of the subject headings. Breaking down radicalism, 
by geographic area and time period. So, from starting with a very broad topic, I can use the subject headings to track down more manageable aspects of that topic.